Hey guys, before we start this video, I want to let you know that this Friday, the new Legends Circuit Team Collection drops on the Legends Media site, and it is going to be awesome. It's dropping along with the S2K wrap reveal. It is going to blow your minds. I am so excited. So, mark your calendars. This Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Legends Circuit Team drop, as well as the S2000 wrap reveal. It's going to be a good one. Let's hop into the video. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally finishing up getting this thing set up completely for the track before we drop this thing off for the wrap. So we are currently at, it's, it's actually probably easier for me to show you guys the name of this place and pronounce it. Will want to know what, I, I can't, I'm sorry Will, I can't say the last name, but you guys get it, WWR Racing. We are here to get the S2000 quarter balance and aligned in preparation for our Button Willow Day next week and this thing is gonna be completely set up for the track and this is gonna be the best it has ever been set up too. So we are gonna set some personal records next week in the S2000. I am hyped. I've never actually had a car quarter balance before and Will is a pro at this kind of stuff. So we're about to get the S2000 pulled up. They're gonna pull it in right now and get this thing all set up. Oh, I just love the rear end of this car. Not only are we gonna get a quarter balance today, but we are also putting on a fresh set of the Yokohama AO52s. Look at this meat. Yeah, fresh set of tires. This car is gonna be gnarly for Buttonwill. I'm super excited for it. So before we do the corner balance, we're gonna get these tires mounted so that the car is exactly like it's gonna sit on the track so that they can get an accurate alignment and a corner balance. And I'm gonna have Will kind of talk, talk to you guys about the science behind a corner balance and why it works, which I think will be really cool too. So let's do this thing. This is by far the craziest alignment setup I've ever seen. By the way, this is Will. What's, What's up, up, dude? Will, you actually own this whole place, right? That's right. What are we doing today, dude? What's so the plan? we're gonna swap the tires out for you with the new Hunter machine. Have you guys seen these machines before? No, no. So these are out. practically touchless machines, uh -huh. so. We don't have to like deal with the levers. And no way. Worry about scratching your wheels, stuff like that. So one of the best balancer and the tire changer that you can get to right now in the industry. And uh, today we're also going to align your car. I'm gonna analyze your suspension setup right now to make sure you're within the proper geometry range, and then go from there. See what happens. That's so rad. So if you guys also want this, Will is actually local to Southern California. So Will, where can they find you if you guys want this done to your race car? You can hit us up on Instagram. Google, Yelp, anywhere really, WR Technica. And of course, I will leave this info on the screen and the description. So if you guys want your race car done, come by Will and we'll slow up, hook you up. So let's do it, dude. Hey, wait, what is this? So back in the days, guys would have to like massage their beats after they uh, mount the tire. <laughs> Actually, you know, the, the proper way of doing it is to uh, mount the tire, go drive it around for, around the block, then unmount it from the wheel, or from the car, and then balance the tire. Really? So beat massage pretty much skips that step. Oh, sick. So uh, click on beat massage over here. Let the machine do its thing. I hear the air bubbles that Oh Pop yeah, in. yeah. So yeah, I mean, any air gaps or air bubbles in there, it's just properly seat the beat. That's onto the so rim. rad. I love getting the science behind all this stuff because I've something, never heard of this before. Something special about this pace that it's kind of hard to see now, but uh, this pace when it dries, it becomes tacky. So uh, you'll notice a lot of track wheels and tires. The, the tire will slip on the rim. 
So we use this paste because it, pre, uh, it minimizes that. Really? Yeah, so it's almost like glue when, once it's on there. It's pretty nice. That's freaking sick, dude. Especially like on our GT3s when we run blue shirts, stuff like that, man, the tires will really slip. Right. Under hard braking, under acceleration. This is great. This, I love this stuff. This machine right here literally scans the profile of your rim. The amount of spokes it shows there is the same amount of spokes that you have. And also, you see that ridge right there? Yeah. It's got it in there, it's profiled in there. Oh, really? So, it, so it scans and profile your wheel so that it, I, I can tell if your wheel's bent. But in this case, unfortunately, the tire is uh, maybe, I don't know, sometimes they have like a little bit of excess material somewhere uh -huh. or certain part of your tire, uh, it's got a little bit stiffer sidewalls. Right. So right now we've got about 25 pounds worth of road force. Currently, with the prediction, it'll only bring you down to 24 pounds. So there's literally nothing we can do about it. So maybe on the next set of wheel or uh, tire, we'll, we'll see if uh, we could spin the wheel in the tire and if it's gonna fix the road force. Okay, So cool. on this particular one, the, the tire or the mode is just uh, something is, is uneven. A little bit off, yeah, a little uneven. It's so crazy, it's like so technical to tell you every little piece that can affect the way you drive. That's, Absolutely. That's rad. Yeah, I mean, when, when our guys, uh, after we set up their cars, you know, once they start driving very consistently, every little thing that we change, even like a 0.1 or 0.2 degree of camber will make a difference for them. And we get all the data, we analyze everything, we validate the tire wear, and that's how we tailor every setup to the driver. You know, there's, there's no magic number out there, guys. It's right. just the data, your speed, your cornering Gs, that's what determines where we're gonna set up your car. That's so cool, dude. I love this stuff. All right, we got the wheels mounted back on the car. They're just finishing up the last one. Fresh tires are always super nice. So now we're about to start the alignment, then the quarter balance. But I think that this is the coolest thing. Like every little degree on your car makes the biggest difference. So I'm very, very excited to see. My fastest time at Buttonwillow last time was a 210. And my goal this time is a 205. So we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Lay it on me. Basically, I'm about to set up a profile for you. Just to, uh, you know, we have everybody set up up in here. We'll, uh, we're gonna measure literally everything that we can right now to uh, make sure that you ride right highest level at bare minimum, but also make sure that you're at the proper geometry. We're gonna analyze your uh, rear roll center, and then we're gonna level the ride height for you, give you X amount of rake, and then from there, we're, we're balancing. That's so alignment. dope, dude. Yeah, so, I mean, we're more of a setup shop, yeah. so alignment and farm balance is part of the process. Right. So some people think we're like, oh, we're just an alignment shop. Actually, we're more of like the full setup shop. You do shop. everything. Exactly. Everything. So uh, we set the suspension, we set the ride height, we analyze all these things. So there's no matching number. Yeah. Uh, everything that we do is all off of data and uh, we measure everything calculations. That's so, freaking yeah. sick. This is gonna be so cool. One of the coolest things about corner balancing is I actually put my amount of weight in the car so it acts like it has my body weight in the car. So I'm around 200, 205. Uh, so we just put 200 pounds in the driver's seat so that it's exactly perfect. Just as if I was sitting in the car on the track. So right now we're actually about to find the exact weight of my car. This is actually Cody's car right here. So I want to see the difference between a stock body with what looks like the OEM hardtop versus my spoon kit with the spoon hardtop. Uh, Cody's weighs a little bit over 2,900 pounds. I'm very curious to see how much weight savings I have in my car. So total weight of my car, 2,782 pounds. That's actually pretty good. That's, that's a lot of weight savings. I'm a heavy dude. 200 pounds in the car. So if I was not in the car, you know, almost 2,600 pounds. That's pretty awesome. Now that the car has been weighed, he's gonna go ahead and measure all four corners of the car to make sure that we are level on every side. Tim, yes. we've got a fresh quarter balance I, and alignment. I can't explain to you how excited I am for you to actually get a real alignment. <laughs> yeah, our last alignment, we didn't film any of it, but yeah. what is our last alignment was not good. We didn't go to our usual spot and uh, it was kind of messed up, but we were on a time crunch. This time, 
Here we have got the best possible alignment, the best suspension setup that we can have for right now. And the spoon kit. Dude, this is just gonna be so much better. And a little bit of a wider base with the 10 mil spacers too. The combination of everything is gonna make a huge, huge difference on the track. I... My goal is a 205 at Bud Miller. You just gotta trust the car. Yeah. <laughs> She's all loaded up and good to go now. I'm so excited to feel this thing, but we are about to head over to the wrap shop and this thing is about to go under the knife to get wrapped. And I'm so stoked to show you guys the color. Tim. They don't even know. They don't even know. So they good. don't even know. So good. <laughs> so excited. It's so nice, guys. Yeah. We've got California traffic, so it's about a two hour drive there. So sick, so right? Fun. Sick, right? So let's do it. Before we leave, I have to show you guys the owner Will's Porsche. Like, uh, if I ever owned a Euro car or if I ever owned a Porsche, this is absolute goals. I think we are gonna end up doing this to the headlights uh, on the S2000 while we actually wait for our carbon overlays because we are actually taking out those headlights and doing a full carbon overlay because we don't need that track car. So for now, I think we're just gonna do uh, yellow. We're gonna clean up the headlights a little bit and do yellow tint like this, but I just thought this thing was so rad. All right. Now we can go. Boom! We just made it from the alignment shop. We are now at DH Graphics. You guys can see over there, we're about to drive the car uh, around back to go put it in inside the warehouse. Tim, we're about to have a wrapped Spoon S2000. I can't wait to see it all one color. It's gonna be so dope. I cannot wait. Leave your guesses in the comments down below. What do you guys think I'm wrapping it? it they're not ready for this, Tim. They're not freaking ready for this. It's gonna be so good. And it's a surprise a lot of you. I think it's gonna surprise them. It's gonna be. <laughs> all right, let's try this thing around back. Everybody, this is Dan. Dan, are we hooking the S2K up? Yep. We're gonna <laughs> make this thing look sick. I'm so excited, dude. All right, here's the wrap. It's blurred out so you guys can't see it, but this is what we're doing, and this is the car right now. We aren't starting this today. We are we are actually starting on Monday from disassembling the car to wrapping the car to actually putting everything back together. This is gonna be so awesome. Well, Tim, you guys don't even know. You, you don't even know what's about to happen. It's so exciting. The S2K is finally gone. We have a few like special plans in the works with uh, DH graphics on the wrap, so it's gonna be sick, but we're gonna head home now. All right, we have made it home, and before we end today's video, I wanted to show you this awesome package that I got in. We are like two days into the wrap now, since as you guys are seeing this, and the wrap is coming out so amazing. But, oh, by the way, for all of you asking about the MSI computer, I am loving it. I'm gonna give you guys an update. In a couple of days, I've been editing videos on it, and this thing is a beast. But I wanted to show you guys this package. Now, this is not sponsored or an ad or anything. This is just something that I thought was really, really cool, and I, I randomly found these guys on Instagram when I was scrolling through through like the explore page or whatever. This specific company here is called the Omamori Shop and I'll link their Instagram on the screen. Once again, this is not an ad or spots or anything. I just genuinely think this is super cool, especially for you guys. Um, as you guys know, I love Japan and I love the culture and everything and Omamori is basically a Japanese lucky charm. The Japanese are very spiritual and very ritualistic and uh, I thought that this was super cool because the Omamori Shop actually, let me find a different one actually. The Omamori Shop actually has car related Oh, okay. Actually has car related omamori. So this one's actually for time attack. And I found this and I ordered it because obviously I just, I just generally like it. And it's a good luck charm to keep in the S2000 since it's for time attack. Uh, they have like ones for drifting, drag racing, tons of different car related ones as well. But I chose the, the time attack one. It turns out that they are actually subscribers to the channel, which I thought was super cool. They sent me an omamori for me and Tiana. This one's for love. And then they sent me a Mount Fuji one for the R34, because as you guys know, we drove to 
Hakone and actually actually drove on Fuji Speedway. So I'm gonna throw this in the R34. Since they are viewers of the channel, they, they've been really enjoying the Spoon S2000 build. And check out what else they sent me. Straight from Spoon Type 1 in Japan, they actually went out and got me a Spoon face mask, which is super awesome. And a ton of like just like little Spoon stickers that you can get from Type 1. Check out Authentic Spoon Envelope. I thought that was really, really cool. And uh, I really do appreciate them for doing that. Like that's, that's crazy that all the way out in Japan, like Kyoto, I think they are in, uh, they watched my videos and they were kind enough to throw a little bit extra goodies in there for me. So if you guys can do me a favor and just uh, check out the Omomori shop, on YouTube, their website, whatever. Uh, that would make my day. I know that would make them very, very happy as well. I just want to give a big special thank you to them. They even wrote me like a, a cool little letter. It was just a really, really cool package and some stickers. So I wanted to show you guys before we ended today's video, but that doesn't mean everything. I hope you guys are really excited for the wrap and my first ever track day with the Spoon S2000. That's going to be sick. But <clears throat> if you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We are so, so close to 500K. Like I'm talking 6,000 subscribers away. We are getting there. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget the Legends Circuit Team drop goes live on Friday as well. All right guys, see you in the next one. Peace out.